I've got my popcorn. I've got my overly strong adult beverage. I'm ready to kill some dudes. Welcome back to Game Taffy Plays Bloodborne. My name is Ben Davis, and even though you are probably expecting me to jump straight into that boss fight, I kind of wanted to try out a uh, another tactic for those visceral attacks. If I can get one of these guys... Nope! So... Probably won't work so well on these guys. I'm probably gonna have to hit someone else. But let's see if he'll dive at me. Come on. Well, he did. And it hurt. Okay, this guy. Oh. Okay, so that's kind of what I gotta do. I gotta get him to swing. And then, so that is a visceral attack. I learned how to do visceral attacks. Get the camera. I learned how to do visceral attacks. All right, so I'm gonna practice that a little bit, get back over to the boss, and we will see how well this goes. All right, so I'm cutting back in since we are really close to the boss fight because while I was leveling myself up, I discovered a really good tactic against these guys. And it's pretty nice. So the guy on the right is going to die pretty quick. Guy on the left just needs one more. Whoa! Okay, so I lied. The guy on the right didn't die. I got a little too close, a little too cocky. It's all my fault. No one to blame but myself. Just in case. Yep. Alright, so... Apparently this tactic is really good against bosses, and I don't know how much I believe that, but I'll give it a shot anyway. So. This is kind of a throwaway fight, and we'll see how it goes. Ooh. Well, I got it on him, I just gotta actually hit him. Ah, I hate that gun. Run away! Too late. Way too late. Ah! Unfortunately, he's really... getting... He's hitting me way easier than I'm hitting him. Ah! Heal myself up. Almost out of bullets. Ah! Alright, I don't think I'm gonna hit him, so I gotta go back to my old tactic. Whoops. Which is my runaway tactic. Because that one seems to work the best. Ah! Except when he is faster than me. Jump at me, bro! 
Well, that does it. Whew. Okay. Once it goes werewolf on me, I am screwed. Ah! That was a really good hit. Damn! Because I can't be overly aggressive. He is way faster than me with every move. Ooh! His reach is far better than mine. Ah! Even my fast attacks can't hit him. Ah, I was hoping that that would... Ah! Did I do it? Holy crap! I mean, like I said, this was gonna be the one. Piece of cake. Easy. Easy peasy. Just like I said the whole time. Alright, so these little spirits that are around here, I am kind of convinced that the Souls series, including Bloodborne, is a multiverse multiverse concept game. So everyone who exists exists in their own timeline. And we are seeing them as our, uh, perhaps, technology in this universe allows us to see different beings from other dimensions. And, uh, and that's how we're able to call them in. It appears to be magic, but it's multiverse technology in the From Software universe. That's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to go level up. Now I'm wondering about that uh, Cleric Beast or whatever it was called. Um, in particular, why was it there? Uh, was it just to give me that item that it gave me? Because it doesn't seem like it served any other real purpose. No, I'm not. Red Jeweled Brooch. Let's find out what this is. Bright Red Brooch used to gain a droplet blood gem. What's a droplet blood gem? A woman's bright red brooch engraved with the name of Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter. Used to change into a droplet of blood gem. A droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. Alright, so another thing that I should just hold on to for fortification. And now it's time to continue our journey. Well, Almost time to continue our journey. Yes, it is time to continue our journey. My hunter needs a beef up. I mean, he is not strong enough to handle a lot of these obstacles. That gate gave him troubles. Granted, he didn't need to show off to you guys. He could have opened it one gate at a time, but I guess he wanted to show you guys that as an old man, he still got it. Okay. No beasties, no enemies. Time to ascend the ladder.
Hopefully nothing's waiting to attack me once I get up here. Found my first chest, and if if this is anything like Dark Souls, that chest is in way too confined of a space to be a mimic. The Bergenworth? Okay, let's go with Bergenworth. The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Okie dokie. This is also the very first chest I have ever found. Hey, I got a workshop tool. What does this do? Enables fortification of weapons with blood gems. A misplaced workshop tool from the hunter's dream. The hunter who retrieves this can fortify weapons by kneading blood gems into them. Blood gems add properties to weapons when used to fortify them as blood defines an organism. Interesting. So I guess I'm going to have to use Viola's bracelet. I'm always concerned that something's going to jump out and get me. A hunter is never alone. There's always an audience watching. Oh my gosh, is this another boss fight? Like, immediately? If it is, it's a very pretty environment for a boss fight. Well, minus the statues <laughs> with their melty faces. Dude, there's something behind you. Found another torch right away. That's cool. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. Mm. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, Tell him about this here Erden Chapel. He'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. I hope Tell so. Him, come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Makes me a little nervous. Only because he looks way too similar to a wraith, but at the same time, I have learned from many a video game and movie that you should never judge someone by their appearance. Yay! I lit a lamp! And I didn't have to kill anything to do so. Okay, we got a door. We got an open door. And we got another open door. Let's try the closed door. It's closed. Um... Right now I'm trying to use my internal compass to figure out which way to go. I don't see any notes on the ground that tell me any hints. So my internal compass says that left is going to maybe lead back around to a bridge that might open the gate in that cemetery that was next to the clinic. So let's start with that direction. How many are out here? Here's only one. Nope, there's another one. Got 
gotcha. Not bad. These visceral attacks certainly are very pleasing. And some new clothes! Whoa, what was that? I think this is a fairly... Mm, it's not. Let's just... Let's just assume it is not a fairly safe location, and let's go over here. Remember giant beasts. Despicable, abhorrent beasts. Alright, let's see what the top hat looks like. Ooh, not great. But you know what? I love having a change of costume, so even though it's not great, I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, these are the same. Lame. Lame. There's my boy! Looking good! Alright, time to continue. Anyone else coming down? Where'd that other dude go? He went in the direction I want to go, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and see if we can suss him out. Ah! I was too far away. I got knocked back just enough. Oh, Dawn. Yeah, I don't want to wait for the sun to rise. It's pretty nice that both those guys just wanted to look at the sun rise. It's good to know that even with all of this that is going on, there's still some humanity left. Alright, so we've got three dudes. One of them has a rifle. And that... Hellhound, as I have decided to call him. Ugh. Well, Hellhound's down. Now the question is, do I rush the riflemen and aggro the other two dudes at the same time? You know what? Time to go to old, old faithful. He's not a rifleman. <laughs> but they're both dead, so not totally worried about it. Even when they're dead, you can still attack them and gain your health back, which is mm, mighty helpful. So I'm going to collect this item, and then we are going to call it an episode. Two items. Might as well collect them. Good. Even better. Better equip those. All right. So thanks for watching. My name is Ben Davis. I feel really great about what we have accomplished here today. And I don't know if I should backtrack and check out those other routes or if I should keep going forward and go back to those routes later. I'll make that decision in the next episode. This has been Game Taffy Plays Bloodborne. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am now that I'm kind of getting the hang of things. And I will be back tomorrow with the last episode of the week. Thanks for watching.